Lower your overhead, sell more cards with the eBay standard envelope. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how I do it. Let's dig in. You may be wondering what kind of cards is the eBay standard envelope perfect for? Well, technically according to eBay standards, it's any card valued at $20 or less. So, uh, I give you some examples here of some cards that I would consider in that category. A base Donruss rated rookie, Jordan Love, for example. If I wanted to sell these individually for five, uh, you know, around five dollars a piece, 93 cent eBay standard envelope, perfect candidates, uh, uh, as well as something like this, Tyler Johnson. Sleeper wide receiver for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Base mosaic, maybe put a couple of these in a lot for five bucks, 93 cent shipping. Same thing like this, if I wanna sell this card for between five and 10, something like that, 93 cent shipping. So the Christian Kirk is a prime example. What I just showed you, the Optic Hollow, I sold it for $8. Uh, buyer pays 93 cents. Uh, Cam Akers, field level silver, sold it last night for 17.95. And the buyer pays 93 cents. So what I do is I go ahead and have the listing set up. So, for example, we looked at the rated rookie uh, Jordan Love. So if you were wanting to do that, it's easier, I guess, for me to show you on the computer. I know you could do the same thing. If you, if you transfer the photos from your phone to your computer or do it directly from your phone, it's up to you. I typically do it all from my phone. Uh, because I have an iPhone and a Windows PC, so the photo compatibility is a little weird. Uh, but what I would do is I'd find the listing first in sold format. So I'd go 2020 uh, Jordan Love rated rookie. We'll use the Jordan Love rated rookie, for example. Find one that's sold already. Find one that's sold already. Uh, boom, perfect, right here. Sold at $5. So see, on the uh, computer, you have to look for this little button right underneath the picture. Sell one like this. And then you click on that. And what's nice about this, this will go ahead and this will populate the, the title for you. You know it's a successful title. You know the, they've got most of the details. So you could just kind of skim over it. And this is what takes the most time listing cards. And this is the same thing on your phone. Um, and then you just add the photos, whether it's they're on your computer or on your mobile device and the description. If you're taking a picture of your cards in a one touch as a single card, like I do if I have a single card, especially when it's like a short print, card because it makes it look really good just put it in the description though and i have this uh, uh in a in a note on my phone so i could just copy and paste that card is not shipped in the one touch case it is shipped in a top a penny sleeve top loader with painter's tape and then whether you're doing a plain white envelope with tracking or a bubble mailer with tracking I have two different notes depending on the way I'm, I'm and then I always I'm, I'm a buy it now guy you may want to do option whether you do auction or buy it now it's up to you I do buy it now so I don't have to worry about when I'm ending it and timing it right and all that kind of stuff I always do buy it now as an accept offer so like this one uh, I would do a buy it now for probably around eight dollars and accept the offers at five and uh and then just let it sit there but then this this is where you got to change your shipping you want to change the shipping service see this button right here in the middle you, you don't want to do one of these buttons you want to change the shipping service and you want to change this to ebay standard envelope boom ebay standard envelope and now you're ready to go you list your card so that way when you when you sell a card then it'll pop over here and you just click print shipping label and so you'll come right in here to print shipping label and it'll automatically populate the eBay standard envelope, 93 cents. So I go, I purchase it. It automatically populates the, uh, the buyer's address. And it, what's important about this solution, this is gonna really cut down on your overhead, guys. All right, so go to your local uh, big box retailer, get you a giant, dude, I got this box of 500 
And what's uh, nice about these is they're the smaller ones. However, they're not too small. You want it, there is guidelines uh, from eBay on the size of these. And so you don't want them smaller than three and a half inches. Uh, but if you get these, these are three and five eighths. These are three and five eighths by six and a half. I got 500 of them for $10, you guys. So whenever I look at it, you see the card. The card is going to fit in there perfectly. So now we purchased the shipping label. Let's print it out. We we'll print it out on the printer, black and white, eight and a half by 11. And it's important to have a printer set up. You know, because this is a critical component. So mine's a, just a Canon TS5320. I think I got this scanner printer deal for um, less than a hundred bucks. Now, so we grab ourselves a couple envelopes, one for each card. I'm gonna show you, let me get this giant box of envelopes out of the way here. So let me find, these are all the cards I listed. I told you guys about my process after I list a card putting it all right there's the field level silver i don't want to get the listings uh mixed up and sent them to the wrong person so it's important that I put that one this is for this guy all right so what i do is you got to cut this part out with scissors and put it on the on the envelope here so Now what I do, throw these little scraps away, and then I take this big piece of paper, and I wrap it around the card, like so. Flap closest to you, pick it up. Like a taco, like I'm wrapping a, a burrito. And then here's the, tr the trick. Or a Christmas you, present. You get it down on top of the food like that, and then you tuck. Just like this is what I do. So this serves as my little paper protection. I'm sure there's other ways you can wrap it. Painter's tape, make it easy on the person to unpackage their packaging, their package when they get it. I don't wanna. And I don't do it just like this every time. Actually, I did it a little bit differently last time, but this way it works just fine. So you want to keep it nice and flat. You don't want to send one touch cases. You don't want anything too fat in the envelope, too thick. It's got to be very thin. It's also got to be under three ounces is their guideline. So this, check that out. Now I've got it in the envelope. Now I've got my label. And then this, I just tape right onto the front of this. Now this I use my, this I use my packing tape. Stuff is cheap. I stock up on it. Good to go. Just like that. Now it goes out the door, guys. Out the door. Tracking number, the whole nine yards. Boom. One down, the other one to go. Easy as that, guys. Just like that, you can save yourself uh, a ton of money on overhead. This is 93 cents compared to $4. $3 per card. And for anything under $20, this is going to sell a lot more cards. Because I've, I've had 100% success receiving these. Knock on wood, right? Because there's always that chance. But... Nine times out of 10, I think it's safe. I think it's safe. I know other guys in the Discord and the community that are using PWE method uh, religiously and they're having a ton of success with it. I highly encourage you guys do the same. It's gonna save you time, money, and you're gonna sell more cards because I know a lot of people that are more likely to press that uh, button to buy when they see only 93 cents shipping compared to four dollars so it's a big difference especially when the total price of the card is only four or five dollars so there you go i'll see you next time peace sell more cards lower your overhead move a lot of your base and base short print cards i'm going to share with you exactly what i'm talking about why am i wearing a dinosaur blanket beanie 
I yes, I live in Tampa, Florida. It's freezing today. It's freaking freezing. And I don't have a heater out here. I'm thinking about investing in a little heater under my desk out here because I'm freezing, right? That's why, all right? <laughs> Game changer. This little heater right here is life changing.